Hi guys, it's Matt here with Hey Press 10. Thanks for clicking on this tutorial. And uh, in this tutorial, you're going to be learning how to create the infinite floor effect. Okay. So if we go into Cinema 4D, it's good. Some we're going to look something like this. Okay. So you want to create a new file. Uh, you want to create a floor and a background. All right. So the basically the main rule is put the same material on the floor and the background, and they merge, merge into one to create that effect. So you want to go down here, double click, and just create any material. Uh, I want to have a gradient. So if you go to texture, gradient, click on this thumbnail here, and just create any gradient you want. Uh, I'll have a dark blue. Okay, um, that should be fine. And then you drag that onto the floor and the background. Okay, but you'll notice the floor comes in stripes, okay, because it's repeating the uh, texture. You want to go change the projection to frontal, and you get a nice smooth effect, okay. Uh, you'll notice it's going a bit funny at the sides here. That's because it's outside the render region. So you want to adjust the output. So I'm going to do 1280 by 720. There we go. Okay, and on the floor, you want to right click, go to Cinema 4D tags, compositing, and you'll want to check compositing background, okay? And then hold control, click on the tag, and drag it to background, okay? And if we just add a simple light, and maybe a sphere, let's put a texture on this quickly. And if we render this, you should get an infinite floor effect, okay? Which is really useful because it makes everything look really clean and, uh, yeah. So as you can see on the video now, there's some other tutorials. Just click on them, check them out, and uh, leave a comment, subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.